directly from your iPad or your iPhone onto Twitch. This was something that was mentioned to me on a Discord server for a game that I'm following called Catalyst Black, and somebody mentioned um, Stream Champ. I've been using Streamlabs OBS on my computer at home, and I've never been able to get the video feed from my computer or even from my iPad to actually go on to Twitch. So once I found out about this program, I downloaded it, I tried it, and it works really well. So this is what I'm gonna go into. I'm gonna break it up into a few parts um, just so I can give you an idea of what you need to do. Um, right now, I'm actually watching the stream on my computer. Uh, so at the same time as I go over it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to get you guys, if you don't have a Twitch account, that's the first thing you're gonna need to do. So I'm gonna go straight on to um, Safari. Uh, all you'd have to do is go to www.twitch.tv and then once you get there, you would hit go. And when you get there, if you have a Twitch account, you would just simply log on. If you don't have a Twitch account, what you would just do is you would sign up, you'd give yourself a username, a password, confirm it, date, um, the date of birth, and your email, and then you get a response back verifying that you're who you are, a verification email, and then you would hit the link and that would complete the process. Um, since I already had a Twitch account, I've had it for about maybe five, six years now. I never really streamed on it, but I was using it to watch um, eSports for a game that I liked a lot called Vainglory. Um, so all I have to do is log in using my Isorot account. You could also, I believe, continue on with Facebook or use uh, Google as another way to log in. So like once you're logged in in that respect, you can see that you're running through the Twitch channel right now. And that's the most important part that you want to get to. But once you finish logging in and you, you're there, there's a area, mine has my icon, but before you saw it, it was just like a nobody, just a head for profile. I always, this is always annoying. What you wanna do if you're on a PC or if you're on an iPad, because I wasn't able to get this to work on the iPhone, when you click on it, you'll see this drop down menu will come down. And what you want to do is you want to go to settings where you see that little cog. It's the four from the bottom. You would choose settings. Once you are in settings, you see profile, um, prime gaming, and you see channels and video. You will want to select channels and video. And this is the most important thing that you have to do. You see there's a part that says store past broadcast. That has to be checked. By default, when you create your Twitch channel, it's not checked because you may not be streaming. You might just be using Twitch to watch content. But if you want to create content, this is a very important one that you have. You see that it'll automatically save your broadcast after you finish streaming it up to 14 days. And if you're a partner, Turbo, or a Prime user, it's for 60 days. Uh, I'll show you also a simple step on how you can save your stream after you've done it past the 14 days. Uh, this is something I was researching and I found out about it maybe about two days ago. So I'm just trying to show you all the, the pieces of how it works. So make sure you check that on store past broadcast. I did two broadcasts without that stored. After I finished streaming, they disappeared. So you want to have that checked or all the streaming that you do is only while you're live. As soon as you basically stop streaming, they disappear. So you want to make sure that's checked. So this is the part that you have to do. Create the, the Twitch account, go into settings, and then go back one more. Go from settings, you're going to go into channel and video. And then from channel and video, you're going to make sure you check store pad or store pass broadcast. So that sets up your Twitch and that's ready to go. So the next thing you want, would like to do is you'd want to set up your iPad or your phone to be able to do a function called screen recording. This is where we're gonna let you actually broadcast the screen for you to be able to actually send that out onto Twitch. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get out of that. And what I'm gonna do is if you look at the iPad, you would basically go to where you see the actual 
percentage for the battery you slide down and then what you'd basically get is this little sub menu for you to basically work with if you were basically using an iphone you would swipe from the bottom of the screen instead of swiping on the battery indicator that's the only difference on an iphone versus an ipad what you see is there's a little glowing um, record sign that's actually there this is what you need to basically set up on your iPhone or iPad. It's called screen recording, and I'll show you how you can set that up. So the next thing you would do is same thing with your iPhone and your iPad. You would basically just go into settings. From settings, you would go to control center. Um, inside control center, you'll see it'll say access within apps. And you're gonna see also something that says um, customize controls. So from here, I already have screen recording in. When you first are setting it up, screen recording will actually be in more controls. You'll just hit the plus, and that's going to add it into that menu that you saw before. So that's all you have to do to literally set up screen recording on your iPad or your iPhone. After you have that, when you bring down this little sub menu that allows you, or this quick menu, it'll allow you to now have access to screen recording, your light, your camera, so on and so forth. So that's all you have to do to set it up. So I'm gonna go back out and go over it one more time. You'd go to settings. From settings, you'd go to control center. And from control center, you'd choose more controls you'll see screen recording if you haven't done it already it's going to be one of the options in more controls you're going to hit the green plus and it's going to bring it up onto the top of your menu of the stuff that's included the important part too we'll go back one make sure you says access within apps i know that's got to be important because the app we're going to get like screen champ or even stream labs requires you to kind of have this access well screen champ does Screen Labs, not so much. Now, so after you finish doing that part with the customization and everything, you're, you're set. The next thing you're going to need to do is go to the App Store. And what you'll need to get from the App Store is going to be um, Stream Champ. You just type in the name Stream. See, Stream Labs is the first one that came up. Stream Champ. Once you get that, this is the app that you want, Stream Champ. It basically looks like a record button in purple and white, and it has a TW, which signifies Twitch. All you have to do is just download that. Once you have that, you're halfway complete. When you go into Stream Champ the first time, it's going to ask you to log into your Twitch account. All you have to do is log into the Twitch account. It's going to ask for um, control to be able to make changes to your Twitch account. And the reason it's asking for that, you see where I have where it says how to set up Stream Champ and Twitch iOS. When you hit the three dots up here, you're able to get to settings, stream notifications, ingest, log out bit rates, and all that. Um, the other one, let me just see. When you click on it itself, you'll see that you're able to get to um, the title, the category in English. Twitch is basically known for gaming mostly, um, but a lot of people who do art also are on here. Um, Draw Stuff, I believe, is the name of a game, but it fits more the category of what I do um, a lot of times when I'm on Twitch, which is um, doing pages for my comics. That's why you see next to it, it says Isorod Studios, Captain Jamaica, and it's in black and white. Um, the ones I was doing before when I was doing the page layouts was in color. This one's in black and white because I'm gonna be inking pages. So besides gameplay, I do a lot of streaming of art. So that's what I'm gonna probably be doing on the channel. I might do art that's related to games more on here and go back to using Streamlabs to stream when I'm actually doing um, comic book work. It depends. I'm actually trying to build the numbers of my streams on Twitch, so I'm just streaming on it 
the last I believe four days now so I've been streaming at least once every once every day so I'm trying to get some they like they have these little milestones or badges that you can hit so I've been actually trying to hit those so what I did before I started the stream was updated update this um, the thing I did before I was playing a game called Grim Valor that was the original title the category was Grim Valor and all you have to do after you finish you're gonna hit update and then it'll be the name of what you're working with uh, there's a lot of really cool features on how to use you can do overlays and all that I didn't bother with any of this um, I didn't go through all that but this is the layout of your screen that you have right now the video I have a background image that moves to the side and then I have my logo which I've designed for um, Facebook I've designed it for a bunch of places um, so I actually have that logo saved and I just brought it in and then I just moved it towards the corner and then I put in a comic book page or whatever I'm going to be working there I wonder if I can do the edit yeah so when you click on here you'll see them so let's say if I wanted to do um, I was playing the game Catalyst Black and I wanted to use a different background so I could s select let me see if I'm right yeah if I'm, I'm on background right now I can choose from photos I can scroll through my photos and this is probably the one I'm gonna be using when I'm playing Catalyst Black um, and then I'm gonna choose to fill and it's exactly what I want oh no let's see if that's right yeah so I guess it was updating it so it, it, it actually blacked out I never tried this before like manipulating it while I'm using it so this is why you might be seeing things that I'm not expecting but you still should be able to hear my voice um, I'm just, just gonna double check yeah so it is the the microphone is also working so what's kind of neat about that is you'd be able to set up your background you would be able to put on your logo or whatever you want and then you'd have the video set up because I'm using landscape that's why it looks in that way if I had it in portrait mode it would actually be the video section would be wider and I don't want to switch between the modes that I'm using so I'm purposely leaving it in landscape whenever I've been using it to stream on Twitch I've always had it in landscape so once you finish doing that part you set up the way you want your stuff to look um, you can see on the bottom it actually said broadcast screen so you can actually activate the broadcast directly from inside this app and it would basically be running and everything that's happening on your screen it would be working 100 percent you can see that it has a microphone control so i can bring up my microphone and also i can control the sound that i have so what's kind of neat is i can come back in here even while i'm using um even while i'm streaming and do some bits of changes and playing around with stuff they it looks like you can actually have multiple scenes I've never tried I just use my screen straight up so I'm not trying to do anything crazy but the idea is for guys I'm actually doing this for like two sets of people I have a lot of friends on Facebook who are always looking to figure out how to stream from their iOS devices and they want to share their screen and they might want to be able to talk or put on music this is one of the group I'm doing it for the other folks that I'm setting this up for is on the Discord server on the game Catalyst Black that I'm on. There's a lot of guys who are getting in to an early access program who have iOS devices but don't have any idea how to set it up so they can stream. So this is the other group that I'm actually setting this up for. So yeah, this is pretty much it. It's pretty straightforward. What really impresses me about it is how easy it was to do because setting up Streamlabs to, to stream onto YouTube wow nightmare it's really hard setting up stream labs to stream onto facebook it ain't that easy either so like it's not fun stuff to do with this i pressed broadcast screen and then i went onto my computer and i looked i was broadcasting and it just blew me away like how fast that was so 